name is uh, Marc Pégelu. I'm uh, working uh, for Semtech. I am in charge of the LoRa development, okay. LoRa marketing and application support for Semtech. I've been addicted to LoRa for, I would say, more than eight years now. And uh, this addiction has been fueled every day by all the creativity and the fact that we have been learning every day something new about LoRa. So at the beginning, it was about the technology, the capability of the technology. And as we grew, it was amazing to see the growth of the ecosystems, all the companies joining. And now we're at a stage where the creativity is fueling all the applications and the real use cases. So the goal for me today for this presentation is to share what Semtech is witnessing in terms of success, deployment of the networks, in terms of use cases across the world associated to LoRaWAN. There are key, key takeaways of uh, this presentation. The first one is I will uh, demonstrate how the LoRaWAN deployment, the networks deployment, are becoming global. The second one, very important, is about uh, the use cases, because LoRa is used in mass volumes already. But more important, I think, for all of you, I would like to, to share where we see the next big applications are going to come from. We have uh, right now about uh, 80 LoRaWAN networks uh, announced across the world, spread among 50 countries. And we have about 100 countries active. So active means they are testing or deploying the LoRaWAN networks. So this is really important because it demonstrates global adoptions. And there is only one way to, to win, to be the major stakeholder in IoT with LoRa Alliance, is to be global. So that's number one about the network. The second one, which is, I think, unique, and everyone can be extremely proud of, of this, all the partners, is the diversity of the networks. LoRa and LoRaWAN offers a unique capability of an open business model. And it's an open business model for everyone in the ecosystem. It's true for the network operators because many types of the network operators can deploy LoRa. It's uh, sufficiently simple that you can deploy locally, you can deploy at big scale. So right now we have by network operators, we have cable operators, we have TV satellite broadcast company deploying LoRa, fiber optics uh, telecom, we have system integrators or even tower companies who are leasing their assets or even changing their business model to offer an IoT connectivity. This is really unique and this is a key strength of, uh, of the LoRaWAN protocol. It enables all of this. As we are looking at some of the key metrics, one is about the velocity. So the velocity is the speed at which we are basically achieving or reaching a goal. And the goal for us is to have a global network deployment as many countries as possible. So in the last 12 months, we simply doubled the numbers of countries which have announced deployment. So the speed is accelerating. This is really important. We expect to have more than 90 operators uh, this year. All those networks eventually will have to collaborate. And I know and I count on the ecosystems to make that happen. Semtech, you know, is a chip provider. So we provide chips for the connectivity associated to LoRaWAN. As such, we are seeing a lot of the applications. Not all of them, but a lot of them. So I would like to share where we are seeing the traction today. And today, we are counting about 50 million units of connected LoRa devices across the world. These volumes have been uh, doubling almost every year to reach this figure. So we expect this volume to go very quickly to 100 million of, uh, uni of connected devices. And the first segments have been around the energy segment. It's about how do you do smart meters better? How do you monitor energy consumptions? So today we are shipping millions of units of LoRa devices across the world. It has been growing very significantly every year. And some countries which are experimenting are actually moving from the tra traditional metering to smart metering, which means connected metering, think that LoRa is the best solution. It's the easiest solution to deploy. It's due to the performance of LoRa. It's due also to the simplicity, the fact that LoRa is extremely low power, so you can simplify the end devices. 
The second segment that we are seeing in volumes right now, so also reaching millions of units across the world, is the logistic. So everything which is optimizing the operations of a, of a distribution company, for instance, how do you deliver supplies, how do you make it smarter, more efficient, faster, a better customer experience. So that's the second aspect. LoRa is extremely low power. It enables to make the tracking much more efficient, much more low power, and much more cost effective for uh, all the, the customers. The third one is about the building. So it's about how to make the workplace efficiency better. It's about the quality of air, for instance. So we see more and more traction in, the, in these segments, especially in Europe, where uh, every year we see the volumes as well uh, doubling. A new phenomenon has uh, been appearing that we are witnessing right now with LoRa is we are step after step receiving more and more demand to expand LoRa technology into the smart home. So the smart home traditionally have been known to be kind of a, a target for Zigbee type of connectivity or Z-Wave type of connectivity. But the reality is that those technology are short range type of communications. And LoRa has one of the uniqueness that it can do the indoor and the outdoor connectivity. So it opens plenty of new applications, actually. And that's why right now we are seeing a transition, and we believe that there is a window of opportunity for the members of the LoRa Alliance to provide solutions to fuel the appetite of the system provider in home applications. So to give a, a couple of applications where we see a very good fit, there is everything related to home insurance, for instance. So the number one damage for home insurance, especially in US where most of the houses are made out of wood, is the leak water leak detection. So LoRa offers a very simple way to install leak detections as well as the ability to shut down the water valve to, to prevent damages and to significantly de-risk for the insurance the coverage of the, of the damage created by water. Another example, also local for uh, North America, is about termite. Again, houses in, uh, made out of wood, well, it's a great uh, target for the termite. So right now the model uh, for that is, okay, you, you basically make the constatation that your house, house is starting to be eaten by the termites, and then you ask a company to come, please treat and all of that. So that's about between $5,000, $7,000 when you have to treat, uh, treat the house. It happens roughly every five years in average. So now we have companies who came with great ideas. Okay, I'm going to detect that the termites are coming around the house, and before it starts to attack the house, we'll be able to send a team to treat the surrounding of the house before it really attacks the structure of the, of the house. So all of that was not possible before because the technology was too expensive. The, the power was not low enough for that. Now with LoRa, you can install simple sensors around your house, protect, create kind of a fence, which alerts a company who will send a, a team to treat, treat your uh, garden or the area just before the termites attack. Another example is about rodent trap. So like mouse, mouse trap. It seems like kind of uh, ridiculous or stupid applications, but when you think about it, why well, it's, very, it's very useful. Imagine you put a mouse trap in your attic. Well, you never know when a mouse has been trapped. And after a few weeks, few days, a few weeks, or even a month, well, it's not going to look very good when you have to go to the attic to remove the, the mouse trap. So now think about the ability to detect when the mouse track has been triggered, while well, you can act immediately. So it seems it's very simple application, but it illustrates that when you provide a simple enough technology, while well, you can count on the creativity of the ecosystem to find use cases. So home, for me, represents a tremendous opportunity. It is a very fast time to market, fast time to revenue. And I would encourage the ecosystem to think about that and to fuel all the system integrators with solutions to serve this market. Now, one of the roles that we have with Semtech is to continue to fuel these innovations. So you can see Semtech as 
a toolbox. So we try on a regular basis to bring new tools to the ecosystem, new tools to the developers. So this is one of, one of the tools that we are working that within a year, we believe it will uh, also offer new opportunities for the ecosystem, is we want to make the LoRa technology so simple, so cheap that now we can serve all the applications which are disposable or ephemeral. So what kind of applications? Well, these are all the applications where you want to communicate just for a very short period of time. It might be just maybe for a month, for a week, for a day, or maybe just once. So how do we make this technology so cheap that it can be completely pervasive and potentially we can connect any kind of applications? So that's one of our mission. As a toolbox provider, we, we want to provide the tools to the community to attack and address this, this market. So among the ideas, and again, there are probably people much better than us to find great ideas, but we see an early interest, I would say, in transforming some key industry and disrupting some key industry. One could be the print media industry. So this is when you are receiving, all of you are receiving magazines with ads, coupons, and all of that. And most of the time, while well, you trash it, some of the people are actually interested in the coupons and using that, opening the magazine. So for the advertising industry, it is very, very tough to have any kind of feedback. What is the behavioral usage of those magazines, or the coupons that you are receiving at home? Well, if we manage to execute on the technology to make it so simple, we will provide the ability to the advertising company for a behavioral, so for feedback. So they can be much more selective. So that as a consumer, your experience is going to be better because what you are going to receive is much more targeted to your needs. So that's one example. Another example is about tempering, anti-temper. There are so many applications where you would like to, to know, for instance, if a seal has been, has been cut. Again, you are not going to use a cellular modem to, to do that. It's just, just too complex to the subscriptions, the cost, the power, the battery constraints, you can't. Well, LoRa has this ability that in the future it will be able to address this kind of very simple applications with just one-time communications. But this information is extremely valuable. It's going to fuel all the data analytics platforms, capture this information, digest, process, and then provide the meaningful information to make a decision. And these decisions could be okay. Somebody has tried to temper um, uh, a parcel, to try to open a parcel where it shouldn't, shouldn't be open at this time. That's very important information. So and so on and so on. There are so many, so many applications. The applications actually with LoRa are endless. This is one of the key takeaways of uh, this presentation. The last part is we hear a lot, okay, is LoRa one the right technology for connectivity? I mean, what about cellular? What about Wi-Fi and that? So we have a very strong belief that as the IoT applications are maturing, are emerging, there will be a much more clearer distinction between the applications which are going to use Wi-Fi, applications which are going to use cellular technology, and the applications that are going to use LP1 unlicensed like LoRa. We see the Wi-Fi very well designed for the high bandwidth, video, voice type of applications, short range. The cellular has been the legacy connectivity for M2M. So very well designed, very well architect for the high value asset, for a B2B type of business. LoRaWAN fits, in my view, pretty well with what the future of IoT is going to be. It's about very simple devices, simple tags, simple sensors, simple actuators. These are to be very, very cheap. It can eventually be able to serve B2B for the high volumes applications, but also the B2B to C type of applications. Last, LoRaWAN is, has some unique features. So in terms, I, I started by the network and I will close by the network because it's a very good illustration about the business model that LoRa is opening. You can deploy LoRa very easily outdoor, like cellular coverage, but you can also deploy LoRa 
indoor by installing a gateway and immediately uh, connecting your home outdoor and the surrounding neighborhood. So it's a unique attribute of LoRaWAN that the LoRa Alliance has been, uh, has been promoting. So my message to, to all of you, you are all members of the LoRa Alliance. Uh, I hope you are all as addicted as uh, we are at Semtech to be part of uh, this family of LoRa. Uh, we are welcoming your recommendations to make the technology stronger. I'm inviting you to be key contributors to the LoRa Alliance, because the, the strength of the LoRa Alliance is just you. It's about your ability to, to, to bring to the LoRa Alliance your needs, things which are not working, things that you would like to improve, or your own contribution. So in, do that. If you, if you do that, you are going to find customers for, for yourself as well. You are going to speed up the adoptions of the IoT, and eventually, everyone, every one of us is going to benefit from that. Thank you very much.